Uh, that tree's more exciting to watch. Uh, it, it kind of is if he can snipe the courier. The Venelink. Oh, he comes through. He'll see it. He'll see it. It's just a little bit lower. One more attack around the tree lines. Run, Venerling! Run! Instead, will be there from GH and maybe even the second the first blood. It will be going the way of Team Liquid. Wow, they were not scary to come in close up against the Whelming Death. Axe versus most melee. And on top of that, we'll get better Lara Strike. Miracle's gonna be here to gank onto Samael. GH started off with the ensnared Zai. Now jumping forward, it's gonna be Miracle to be the one who dies. GH needs to back up to the T1 tower, or does he? He knows Samael is low. One raise is... They're looking to fight top. You're already gonna have that jump in from Zai. A quick cure from Mycotol as he picks up Zai and Universe, but there's more support. It's Miracle. He comes from behind with a Burrow Strike. The damage on the Act is minimal. His armor is just so damn high, and Miracle doesn't really do anything against Mind Control, who's dying at the moment. But Zai, he needs to jump away. He can't do it. Universe will come back in again. Miracle just using the Sandstorm as protection, so Universe will miss the call, and Kuro will arrive to also assist on the top lane. Another Burrow Strike is available. But they'll need to wait a little bit longer so they have really hard triple raise at this. Pretty impressive. By uh, Atizi? Kuro doesn't want to reveal his position. He needs Atizi to be in range of the tower so he can do that. Okay, Frostbite and get the kill. And so, so, are you liking the GH Naga so far? Uh, yeah, I think he's. Well, he's like a little bit more active, but at this point, he's coming for me. Efficiency. Thoreau will die at the same time, a little bit further side. It's going to be Matumbaman to fall as well. Support is nearby with Miracle here, and it's Samael with that Easter, and he knows what he wants. He wants the kill onto that Naga. Sorry, he didn't actually get it. The RP from my control is available. GH so low. All right, cool. Let's just fight us, fight us, fight us. Universe, blink. Yes, the call off. Is able to actually catch the real GH, and with the Shadow Wave, damn. Bottom lane, Miracle's gonna go down. I am not a master of syntax. Uh, this works if they do initiate. So Miracle misses his fire strike. Universe now pops out. Zion's gonna jump in, throws the ulti out, stays on the tree lines. My control, there's still no RP. Song of the Siren has to be committed by GH. Getting rid of the Scarab Beetles. And they're actually just like, let's say he had it that fight, they wouldn't have been able to Oh, the jump forward, my control, caught out, he'll go down. It was Liquid who were the ones made to, meant to find the kill. kills. Yeah, he's getting into position so he could just blink out, intercept the creep wave, go for the full split. Great, okay, Universe jumps in. Fresh blade now, likely, but that's why Matumbaman's coming out. He's well out of position, the smoke will break, the Observer will get the vision, and Kura, there's nothing he can do. Live steal will go down. That's and EG so have a ticket. Unlucky. Just focus in. Do they have the damage output in order to do that? Okay. I mean, the observer works right there. Oh, oh, RP catching nice. universe. He's actually going to go for quick spins as well. The damage is too much. My control. He's brought down. Then you let the Requiem go. Observer what sees the SF group. He doesn't see the act. Miracle. He's going on top lane. Gets the power strike onto Arteezy. My control. No. He jumped up, went for the RP, but our TZ timeline is just in time. And Zai will chase him into the tree line. They pick up the retreating Miracle with the other rotations up. Both will be... It's like, okay, the Naga's going to be pushing out the side. The SK is going to do the same. The Life's is going to do the same. Team Liquid feel like they're on a time clock to get into the base before they end up in a bad trade-off position. These type of kills are definitely going to help. A quick call. Mervin Samael, he triggers the BKB. Song of the Siren is now up, but the call is there. The Culling Blade too early. I actually have some. That's easy. RP is going to hit him. He won't be out of time. Not even the back. Oh, the jump up. Go Scepter raises from Samael. He's still got the, the close range raise. Akura with the life. He needs to stay alive. The gem, the attack will connect. The gem of true sides on the hillside to the tower. They find the bottom lane, far strike right forward, RP committed as well, and they bring the epicenter plus the life stealer. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to duel. Yeah, it's going to be Zai battling against my control. Quick push away. Zai starts his own TP, and they have the stun available. Monkey King rooted. The game plans work perfectly. Beautiful call by Universe. Hold the life stealer in position. Bring in the damage, because right now, all these fights are happening on Liquid terms. EG maybe can find a thing that tries. The RP goes out. They keep the control up. But with the Shallow Grave and Song of the Siren, Universe keeps the spins happening. So much damage from the Axe. The Aegis Immortal will trigger. Samal's BKB will protect him.
And now they go over to Matumbleman, the life stealer. No real way home out of this one, apart from standing his ground a bit. Was a shrine. And they have vision. <laughs> You'll set the right. Crit comes in and, uh, well, they haven't got him yet. They still don't have him yet. And they don't have him at all. Universe is waiting with the... Staring down Arteezy, playing Faro, Epicenter, Miracle commits, Arteezy already used his time, Monty so low and instead up, there goes your Weaver, 84 seconds, buyback is available for him, but Liquid again are leaving, they get the kill they want, they keep the pressure applied, and Universe is the one to jump in, Observer Ward is up, mind control, just trying to push him away. There's another force up available for Miracle. So if Boris strikes up one, there's your RP committal. SF, the Shallow Grave will keep him alive. Remember, there's still no Naga here, but now the top of them will arrive, battling against Seville. He's more damage with the Forest Strike. They get the double stun up, but Miracle will sacrifice himself for this, and maybe not a great sacrifice. They'll lose the Life Stealer as well. Oh, they find an opening. It's gonna be my control. Committing quite heavily, Matumbo pops out of him, trying to hide with him in the infest, and they knew it. That's why life still a quick open wounds, but Universe just backs up, makes sure he doesn't get attacked, so he can blink forward, get the call off. Matumbo still wants to keep this run going. He needs more help, but up on top lane, the Naga Illusions are pushing into Creep Wave, he's expended, and Matumbo still going to go dead. We all need to push in the lane, but it's the Magnus who is arriving, and then the BTs as well. They're bringing in friends, and I think they remain, yeah, they remain undertaken so far, the RP. It'll push them through the connect. Miracle, the Boris Strike, the Liquid Spirits have been triggered. They are the secondary RP. We will drop some Mel will arrive and try and stand his ground. Already triggered off his Satanic under the cover of BKB. But the BKB doesn't last long enough. So they don't find that opening, and it's Universe who's caught out of position. The Fuser Blade charged up, held in the position. Zai needs to create more space, able to do so, throwing down the ultimate as we're in a split up fight. Samael is the primary target, however, of Liquid, and they will bring him down. But Tolman's on the run, but he's wasting the time. Universe and Zai, who get double stunned up by Miracle. Mind Control's coming back as well. He's looking to help out. Crit can't get close enough. He's got GH on his tail. The Fuser Blade charges galore, keep him low. Another little bit of a quick stun by Miracle. Cripple ball and EG are completely losing control of this game and they may be the first team to actually lose a full set of racks. This is one of the and maybe now Arteezy feels he's got the damage. Looking towards Matumbleman, finding inside the tree lines with that BG from Samel, the Bloodborne is on. A kill on the Naga can create so much space if he can do it. I think Miracle's actually looking for the kill over on the SF. He's bar striked up, he puts Samel down. And actually found the kill. No buyback available. Universe needs to kill off Miracle with Tupperman. And we get that very quick hex off. So the top lane's being attacked down by GH. He'll take care of that. But Tupperman's making very quick work at the bottom racks. And the mid just fell. Megas are up. The RP will connect. So maybe Zai can create a little bit more space. Throwing out the Monkey King ulti. They'll burn the Aegis of the Immortal. But you're still up against Megas. They need to find this kill. Still no SF. Support is nearby, but Life Seal and Tupperman standing his ground. But Infest, he'll pop back out of the creek. Passed up as well. Universe will Culling Blade him down. The epicenter. Miracle's gone back in again into the middle of four. Trying to get himself back out of this one. The stun will not. You love it, unless you're an So Liquid just needs to wait, wait for you. EG are coming. Yeah. They're hunting. Zai was bouncing around the tree line. Doesn't want to take the bounty rune, and they find GH. They need this kill, but he songs. The Dazzle will just have to sit there. TP supports coming onto the shrine. You don't want this. You don't want this, EG. The Fire Strike is there catching Samael. He couldn't even be KB in time. That could be the game right there. Crystal Maid let the ulti go, but RP stay exactly where you are, Universe. He won't fall, and GG well played. Team Liquid patience is a virtue they have displayed in draw. I think GH played really well. He was really good about it. Before I didn't have